Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. In this series of videos we're building a uh, Frogger arcade game and this is the first one where we've uh, actually going to start do building the, uh, the game now that we know a little bit about uh, functions and classes and objects. Uh, we're ready to get things started. So to get started here we're going to bring up the terminal window again. Um, if you're on a PC you'll want to bring up the uh, the uh, GitHub or the Git uh, Bash uh, shell, and then inside we're going to do a CD, and then CD into Documents, and then CD into Programming, and then CD into Frogger again. And to get ready for this lesson, we're going to do a Git and uh, Checkout dash F and Lesson Five. Okay, so. That will switch us to branch five there. Then we're going to go ahead and start up uh, um, Wing. And we're going to open a file from Wing. And um, the file that we're going to open is going to be in Documents again. And then uh, Programming. This time we're not going to open up uh, the Draw program. We're going to open up the Frogger.py program. So this is the document that we're opening up. Um, so there is, I want you to see back here in the lesson that there is another uh, directory that has been created. It's called images. And images, if I CD into images, images has some GIF files in there which are part of the Frogger um, arcade game. So we've got some images to work with and we've got some code that we're going to be starting with here. So this code, I want to take a look at it for just a moment here. Um, this code has a class as a part of it. We learned what classes were the last time. This class is a Frogger application class and we're going to create a Frogger application object down here. Um, this class inherits from something called tkinter.frame. So frame is a window and uh, Frogger application is basically going to be its own window um, on the screen. Uh, Turtle Graphics is based on this package called tkinter. It uses this package called tkinter. So Turtle Graphics and tkinter work together very nicely. Um, just like every other class, we have to have an init method as part of the Frogger application. Because it inherits, we're going to tell it that we want to init the uh, super class, which is the frame class, passing in master, which is actually has to do with the, uh, um, the window that this frame is in. And um, Packing is just making that frame appear, and build window is where we're going to write most of our code, but right now there's a pass in there so that, so that it doesn't do much. Now if I run this program, um, it's hard to see, but right up there there's a tiny little sliver right up there in the corner, and there it is right there, and it says TK on it right now. So this is the window. It actually creates the window already and runs it. Um, so application, Frogger application root created the window and main loop here uh, is called to make the window work in terms of responding to events. We're going to be doing what's called event driven programming and we're going to make it respond to events by calling main loop on this. Now we didn't write main loop, thank goodness we didn't have to. Uh, main loop comes from the frame class. so. Because Frogger application inherits from frame, we're going to go ahead and be able to call main loop on it because main loop is defined on the frame. So there it is right there. It's not very interesting to look at right now. It's an empty window and it says TK at the top there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to, in build window here, we're going to start writing some code. Our first uh, bit of code to write and build window is to uh, set the title of this thing. So self is the window and it turns out that uh, in self we have this master and in the master we'll be able to set the title by calling title and we're going to call our 
window Frogger um, because that's the uh, the program that we're making. Now before we get too much further I'm going to go ahead and create what's called a canvas. The canvas is the area that the turtle um, is going to be able to draw on or move around on. This is in the TK Enter module and it's called canvas. Okay, And we're going to pass in self which is the in this case is the Frogger the frame, the Frogger application. So we'll pass in self to it and we'll say what its width is going to be equal to. We're going to make this canvas be um, 600 pixels wide and 600 pixels high. So that's going to create a canvas for us and make the canvas appear we have to call pack. Pack is kind of like packing a suitcase and we're going to say that this is going to be packed on the side that it's going to be packed on is tk enter dot left this left is a constant here tk enter tk enter is the module because i imported tk enter as import tk enter whenever i want something from tk enter i'm going to write tk enter dot left or tk enter dot so left is a constant that's inside of this tk enter package okay so I've written just a little bit here, but now when I go to run the program, it doesn't show up as that tiny little sliver anymore. It shows up as, uh, as Frogger. So I want you to go ahead and pause the program at this point and just type in those three lines of code and run it to make sure that you get the same thing. Okay, so you're back and uh, you've got those uh, pieces of information there. We're about ready to go ahead and create a turtle. So we had created a turtle before and I'm going to go ahead and create a turtle here and it's going to be instead of a turtle it's going to be a raw turtle in this case and the reason for that is because we want to tell the turtle where it's going to draw and it's going to draw on this canvas. So I create the turtle by saying turtle equals raw turtle and it's going to create it on the canvas there and now when I go and run this, I see the turtle right in the middle of the canvas. So, um, so that's how I get things started here. I'm going to have a turtle that I'm going to be able to uh, use in this application. In fact, it turns out I'm going to have lots of different turtles that I'm going to use in this application. Okay, so I've got a turtle. You go ahead and pause it and get that written. Okay, and um, and now I'm assuming that you've got it written at this point. I am going to use that turtle to draw a river and a road. Okay, now I went and I kind of figured out what the coordinates would need to be for this. So I've got a few uh, lines of code that I'm just going to give you here. So turtle.color, we're going to set the color to blue. And turtle.fill color, we're going to set the fill color to blue as well so that we can draw the river. Okay, and um, and then we have to do a turtle dot uh, begin fill. Okay, and the next thing is for, and we're going to go some forward some distance as we go around here, and we're going to say in, and then we're going to make a list: three fifty, comma two hundred, comma seven hundred, and then comma. 350 again okay so this is going to be our river that we're going to draw and we're going to say turtle dot forward um, that distance from the list okay and we're going to do a turtle dot left of uh, 90 degrees here each time we're going to go around and uh, when I run this then there's my river being drawn um, and it uh, looks like I forgot one uh, value from here. So it's 700 and then 200 and then 350. So that hopefully will get everything. And I need to do a turtle uh, dot end fill at the end of this. Okay, so you might want to pause it at this point. Go ahead and type that in and then be able to run it. Once you run it, it should draw a river. So there's my river being drawn. Okay, so you're back. 
So we now need to draw the road. The road, we're going to use exactly the same distances, except that we're going to turn right each time instead of turning left each time. Um, but we do need to make sure that we start out facing in the right direction. So we're going to do a turtle dot right, and we're going to turn right by 90 here to get pointing in the right direction. So I want you to write the code now to draw the road. Again, you'll use the same coordinates for drawing the road. You're going to write this code right here after this turtle dot right. Um, I want the road to be gray. So you go ahead and write that code and see what it looks like and then try running it. OK, so you're back. I'm assuming that you've tried that already. Um, here is uh, here's the code that we need to write to get this to work. So turtle.color, we're going to want gray as our color. OK, and uh, turtle.fillcolor, we'll set to gray as well. Um, gray with an A also works, so either the British or the English spelling, it doesn't matter which. Um, turtle dot, uh, begin fill, just like we did up above. And then uh, for distance, in, and we've got that same list again. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Okay. And, uh, and the same two lines inside, and actually the same line after the loop as well. So I'll copy those three lines, we'll put them in here, and we'll go ahead and give it a try and see what we get. So there's the river, and if you were successful, you should have gotten the road. Oops, I forgot one thing, looks like I drew my road over my river. I said that we needed to turn right instead of left. Uh, for the rib for the road so there's the river and there's the road okay so we've drew we've uh, drawn a cup a few things here we're kind of getting things ready to go for our Frogger application um, the next thing that we need to do is we're gonna hide that uh, we're gonna hide that turtle as the very last thing here today because we're not going to use that turtle anymore it turns out we're going to be making some other turtles in our program so this is pretty much it for this lesson um, it's more about understanding that we've got an application at this point a Frogger application that we're going to create an object of a Frogger class that we're creating an object of and that object is called application and we called main loop on it so that we're able to bring this up and respond to events that we're going to do in future lessons. So that is the end of it for today. And uh, we'll move on to lesson six here. And in lesson six, we'll start to create a frog.